Hi, I'm Fox. I'm Couch Guy. And you're watching the Two Smart Guys Show, where every week we bring the latest and greatest in hacking cheap devices and making them do things that expensive devices do. Or just taking control of your own devices, because you paid for it. Why not use it the way you want to? That's right. So um, if you watched last week's episode, we turned the $100 touchpad into like a $500 Android tablet. Which it was supposed to be 500 bucks, but who would want to pay 500 bucks for Web OS? I'm not a big fan, but there are some people who are. Um, I personally really liked it. It was smooth, but it just didn't, you know, I guess I'm spoiled by Android. Um, but because Android, the marketplace and everything else is just so much different, and it didn't have the same things I was looking for. Right, okay, so I think that WebOS just wasn't supported by developers. I, I agree, and I, I think that that was his major downfall. Like, as far as a normal operation, it was smooth. It worked really nicely. It still does, and I can, you know, boot into it um, both ways, and it's, you know, it's pleasant, but it's not... It's not Android, and it's not... But there was one thing that really was not cool that it did to you. Well, okay. So <laughs> I got mine last week. Last week's show, we talked about how to put um, the CyanogenMon CM7 onto the HP touchpad. I walked away with brand new inbox, grinning like Cheshire Cat, and took it home, played with you know WebOS, because Box says it's not that bad. And I'm like, okay, it's not that bad. Let's play with it. And I took it out of the box, started playing with it, and it said, hey, we have a software update. And if I've learned nothing from doing this, it's don't do software updates. So I said no. And then the next day it said, hey, we have, a, we have an update. And I said, no, thank you. And I kept playing and playing. I left it on, set it on the counter, and came back the next day. And it said, congratulations on your new update. And I said, oh, bad word. And um, so I was forced into, and many people are, forced into 3.04. Now, there's nothing terribly wrong with 3.04 as far as WebOS. Um, it takes an extra two gigs of memory. It adds functionality to your camera. It, you know. Yeah, it, it, it has camera support. Yeah, period. it actually puts... <laughs> you can actually you know, use the camera. Native support, <laughs> not just an app you can download. <clears throat> but what it did do was screw me a little bit when I was trying to put... Android on there. I could do the whole boot cycle. I came to the multi-boot screen and only could boot into WebOS. It didn't seem to acknowledge the... And the weird thing is, mine has the new update, but it works. Yeah, it works. So it's so, not everybody. So well, we're going to preface this. If you need a downgrade because it's not working, or if you just don't like it and you want to go back to the original way it was, Let's go to 3.04 or 3.02, and then you can... Uh, I can show you how to do 3.02, we can do 3.04. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to show you how to downgrade. Yeah, so we're going to show you how to use the tool to fix your touchpad when it goes bad. Yeah. So either if you you know do something where... I, I'm not positive that bricking it, because I haven't bricked this device yet. Um, but if you want to get rid of CM7 completely and just you know reflash everything, um, then this is how to do it. Or if you need to go back a version, also how to do it. So if you, we're going to go to webosinternals.org. Um, there's going to be a link in the show notes. And basically this is the web do, webos doctor versions. And we're in the Wi-Fi only section. And we're going to look at, see, version 3.02 right here. And we're going to download this file. And this file is a nice little JavaScript. Now, the same exact file can be um, picked up from Palm, um, but what they're going to do is they're going to try and get you in the latest version. So um, you can get this tool. Um, I'll show you. We're going to launch this tool and see what um, this is what pops up. And um, so what you do. You say yes in the United States. Next, yes, I speak English. Yes, yes, I accept your ridiculous policy. Okay, this dual device reset your device. Have stopped. Yada yada yada. So basically, don't interrupt this process, right? After your device is reset, you have to reset your WebOS account. Yada yada yada. Okay. Now it's going to check. I'm not. I'm not actually connected right now because I wanted to show you how to boot in the boot cycle. But that's the basics of it. So we're going to do that right now. So <clears throat> before we, I'm going to back out of this real quick just so I don't have it cycle forever. <laughs> Suck down my mama. It's not going to matter. It's not going to find anything. So we're actually going to go into the boot the same way we did 
last time. We've got to shut down our device. Which power off. Please shut off. Please hold the volume up, right? And then when you reboot, you <clears throat> hold the volume up. And that'll put it into the boot, um, the bootloader cycle, the booty. If I get this thing to turn off. Remember, this is an alpha mode for. There we go. Okay. I'm going to plug this into the computer. And that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I wonder if you have to be in WebOS to do that. No, I just, no, it doesn't. I, I mean, I've done it twice. I just hit the button and I didn't hit the up button. You got an EGC going on there, or is it EGC? Sorry, I booted the Sarah and Jim by accident. All right, let's do this again, because shut off. There it goes. Good night. Maybe I'll say good night. I wonder if it's because of the touchstone. It may be. Well, it you know it's really weird when I turn it off at times. Like sometimes it goes through the final, you know, shutdown sequence. Sometimes it just hangs. Okay, so we push power button and we hold up. Same time. There you it go. Pops into this booty cycle. This is what you want to see. Okay. Now that when we're on our lovely screen, I'll go through all this again just to show you. Yes, confirm I'm speaking English. I accept. And I go through next. And it's going to check through the system. Once it finds it. It's actually going to go and do the whole, it's going to ask me, I think, one more time whether or not I really want to do this. Um, and then it's going to take over. It's just going to say goodbye. And this can take about 10 minutes, I think, is what it did last time. It took 10 minutes to do. Now, it doesn't, when I did this last time, it didn't get rid of everything on my system. Does it show anything on the touchpad? It or? does. It'll actually change. Um, oh, here. It's actually... It's going to ask you, do you want to install? I say yes, even though I've already installed it. Connect your device directly with the USB cable. Say yes. See, that's how I knew it wasn't. Go. And then it goes into this. Don't disconnect your device. You could <laughs> kill it. Um, halfway through this, it'll actually change the logo on your device from the booty um, USB icon to this <clears throat> downloading green thing. Um, you know what? You're keying out. That's why that green color never comes through. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I couldn't even figure out why that color last week never came through. <laughs> Anyway, this does take a little bit of time. Um, so sit back, have a Coke, enjoy. Enjoy. So have you had any luck um, with charging yours? Oh, hey, look. There's the. Oh, it's in a boot loop. Go do this, and then I'll flip into the other logo. With charging it. Um, of note, you have to use their charger. You can't you use know, an iPad charger. You can't use a generic else, charger. Somebody else said that they had luck with that. And I have not looked at it. <laughs> it was that, traveling, and I forgot, little, I forgot to bring it. And I just thought, oh, I could charge it on my laptop or this or that. You know, the Nook is the same way. Even though it's USB, it has to use its charger. I Stupid have the same thing. problem with my Nook color. Um, and I'm not positive why. If you want to, I don't know. There it goes. Ooh. 
Check it, check it, check it. So there's the logo as it transfers and all right, so when it's all done, the reset complete page comes up and you'll see the nice HP logo on your touchpad. Um, and then you'll know that everything is done. Once you're done, you can just say goodbye to your, you know, other software. And in, in all in all, that's how to get back to either the complete web OS, like, you know, if I disconnect from the um, system, which I think it already is. Yeah. Um, and give it a little wake up call. It'll actually boot, it'll actually go through its boot cycle. And once it's all done, it'll pop up and it'll be completely fresh and pristine as if you had not done anything to it. It'll ask you which country you're in and all kinds of things. So is that what it's doing right now? It's gonna boot up? It's gonna right go door. through the boot and go through all the stuff in there. Um, and you just have to let it go through its cycle, just like always. Um, we, have, we have to do the whole thing again then. We have to put in developer mode and yeah, if you want to do, if you want to go into, um, like the hack we did last week, you once you go to 3.02, then you just go back and watch last week's episode, and you've got everything. You're just fine. Developer mode, put the software in there, da 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 da, -da command mode line, and you're done. Cool. Which now I have to do again. <laughs> I'm getting pretty good at that. Um, but that's how you downgrade it. And um, so whether you didn't like CM7. Or if you just want to downgrade it because you got 3.04 and it's not working for you, that's how to do it. Oh, it's pretty simple. Yeah, it's actually a really nice tool. Uh, just don't use the one that's from the you know Palm because they're going to bump you back into 3.04. Go to the one that we put you in the show notes and uh, download at least 3.02. You can go back even further if you want to, but 3.02 works just fine. So yeah, and uh, tune in, subscribe to the channel, and you'll get our next video. We're going to show you how to do apps. Yeah, um, we, we promised to show you the, the App Mark. Store. Um, this thing runs Netflix. This thing runs Skype. It says it'll do video. Um, go ahead and take some shots out real quick. It changed a little bit. It's starting to glow. Ooh, it's glowing. <laughs> Heartbeat. Ba-bump. Ba-bump. So the, uh, we're going to do um, the apps, um, the marketplace, and the maps, all that stuff um, in the next video. And that will get you the Android Marketplace, which has got everything you want to do for your Android touchpad. Cool. Um, subscribe to the feed. I'm at Walking Crow on Twitter. And I'm at Tommy5C. And we'll see you guys next week. Or maybe sooner. <laughs> we'll do, you know, whatever strikes us, you know. The 5th of November's coming. Ooh, all right. This Bye, has been the Two Smart Guys Reductions.